What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron NG840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Bayer family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron NG840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 700 in H2 MHz in the NG840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture by using the latest driver suite available. You also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive with the operating system and a 1TB external one on which the games are installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows X Lite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. Today, we'll be benchmarking two dying simulators in one video. Hotline Miami 1 and Hotline Miami 2 wrong number. Shout out to the dude who requested them. We first gonna benchmark Hotline Miami 1 and after that, we'll see how the second game runs. So let's get straight to the points now.
Overall, I'm impressed. But then again, Hotline Miami is very easy to run. Let's see if the second game also runs as well as the first one. For some reason though, it refused to launch until I set it to run in OpenGL mode. To do so, right click on your Hotline Miami 2 shortcut and go to properties. Then in target, hit spacebar and type minus plus GL as I've done it. And that's how to get Hotline Miami 2 to work.